how to raise altars how to tear down altars how to maintain altars now please write today we do not raise altars by erecting physical structures or monuments today for the new believer in christ now we do not raise altars by erecting physical structures and monuments necessarily that means you don't have to go and stand somewhere and start carving things putting blocks together to look for no now that does not mean you cannot dedicate a place say for instance to meet with god like a prayer room or something no that's not what i'm we're not talking that is still scriptural that you can find a place to spend with god but that today we do not raise altars by erecting physical structures and monuments necessarily to know how to erect structures structures that work with power and grace we have to learn from one of the great patriarchs elijah first kings 18. we're going to learn how to erect altars from the man elijah let's start from verse 19 for sake of time this was at a, this was a point of decadence where the purposes of god had suffered a great deal under jezebel and ahab and now this great prophet of god arose called elijah elijah the tishbite and he's about to judge the prophets in the encounter that we know to be the encounter of fire at mount carmel let's read pay attention as we learn the lesson now therefore he said send and gather to me all israel unto mount carmel and the prophets of baal 450 and the prophets of the groves 400 and so on and so forth next verse so ahab sent unto all the children of israel and they gathered the prophets and they came to mount carmel follow closely now elijah came and all the people and said how long will ye hold between two opinions if the lord be god follow him but if Baal, then follow him and the people answered him not a word next verse elijah said unto the people i even only you see the mistake this one is a mistake clearly he made as a prophet he said i only remain a prophet of the lord but Baal's prophets are 450 men 23. let them therefore now watch this he's building an altar now look at the ingredients or the requirements let them therefore give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it into pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under and i will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire uh-huh and ye call upon the name of your god and i will call upon the name of the lord and the god that answered by fire let him be god and all the people answered and said it is well spoken both the prophets of baal and elijah knew that without altars any other thing they were trying to do and call will be a total waste of time elijah said unto the prophets he says choose you for yourself and call upon the name of your god put no fire under uh-huh and they took the bullock and then when they had put everything they had dressed it they now began to call oh bell hear us but there was no voice nor any that answered and they leaped upon where look at the various skills they were doing but it was on the altar which was made so they made an altar 26 or 27 now and it came to pass at noon that elijah mocked them and said cry aloud for he is a god either he is talking or he is pursuing or he's in a journey or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awaked 28 and they cried aloud and caught themselves after their manner did you see that 
that means there was a way they caught themselves as a last card that when they try everything on that altar and it does not work there is a skill they taught them that you can cut yourself and they tried it they lacerated themselves till blood gushed out upon them 29 and it came to pass when the midday was past and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded 30 verse 30 and elijah said unto the people come near unto me and all the people came near unto him step number one he repaired the altar of the lord that was broken down follow carefully we are looking at the protocol to be able to set up an altar something happened to have given Baal that kind of authority and elijah now wanting to see the power of god the first thing he did was to repair the altar of the lord that was broken down reading to 39 let's hurry up 31 and elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of jacob unto whom the word of the lord came saying israel shall be thy name so he did not just gather stones carelessly the stones were according to the word of the lord and with the stones he built an altar in the name of the lord and he made a stretch about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed 33 and he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood and said fill four barrels with water and he poured it on the bond sacrifice and on the wood 34 and he said do it a second time and he did it a second time and he said do it the third time and they did it the third time uh-huh and the water ran about the altar and he filled the trench also with water 36 and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that elijah the prophet came near and said lord god of abraham isaac and israel let it be known this day that thou art god in israel and that i am your servant and that i have done all these things at thy word 37 hear me O lord hear me that these people may know that thou art the lord god and that thou hast turned their heart back again 38 then the fire of the lord fell and consumed the bond sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that is in the strange and all when all the people saw it they fell on their faces and they said the lord he is god the lord he is god how to raise an altar pay attention number one the bible says elisha repaired elijah repaired the altar that was broken many people miss this step in raising an altar most people emphasize on other things and forget the place of repentance and brokenness please write it down that is what it means to repair the altar of the lord that has been broken you want to raise an altar that can authorize spiritual activities again it cannot be without repentance and brokenness please write it down can i tell you whether it is as an individual whether as a family whether as a territory you want to see the power of god come again you want to see the realm of the spirit work in partnership with the purposes of god over the lives of the saints it starts with genuine brokenness and repentance not confession not declaration not prophecy not giving repentance 
unfortunately and respectfully so most times even men of god when we are teaching people these things we do not teach them the place of repentance and brokenness is someone learning this is very 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 powerful genuine repentance and genuine brokenness remember what moses did as soon as the lord told him i mean um, moses when he told him about the judgment coming upon the people he began to plead for mercy even for them let me show you a scripture second samuel 24 we'll read verse 1 then we'll jump to verse 10 the bible says and again the anger of the lord was kindled against israel and he moved david against them to say go number israel and judah so he made a big mistake let's go to verse 10 and david's heart smote him after that he had numbered the people watch this now and david said unto the lord i have sinned greatly in that i have in that which i have done and now i beseech thee O lord take away the iniquity of thy servant for i have done very foolishly say repentance say brokenness we are reading please continue 11 now it says for when david was up in the morning the word of the lord came unto the prophet god david seer saying 20 verse 12 now go and say to david thus saith the lord i offer thee three things choose thee one of them that i may do it unto you that means god is saying i'm going to deal with you but i'm going to give you three options verse 13 number one god came to david and told him all of this punishment number one seven years of famine shall come upon thee in the land or will thou flee three months before your enemies while they pursue you or number th or shall there be three days pestilence in the land now advise and see what answer i shall return to him that sent me so david these are the three punishments you are going to receive watch this now 14. david said unto god i am in a great strait let us fall now into the hand of the lord what a wise man for his mercies are great and let me not fall into the hand of man ah you're not a man no you're not a man no. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man. You're the God of everything, no. Oh. 